So one of the big questions that Carly and I have is what is Hank going to eat when he's on the boat? You see, Hank is a pretty pampered dog right now and he's got a bit of a taste for red meat. But when we're on the boat, hopefully we're going to be fishing, catching fish, eating much more fish. But then Carly asked the question, can Hank even eat fish? What fish can he eat? Can he eat seafood? And that is where the story begins. So Carly and I immediately start the research. We have a look online, we try and figure out what fish Hank can eat, how much fish Hank can eat, which fish he has to avoid, is there any of it that's poisonous? Then the real question that we asked ourselves was, will Hank even like fish? Does he even like it? He doesn't eat it. He eats steak, he eats chicken, he eats lamb. We never give him fish. So we don't even know if he's gonna like it. So fast forward a couple of days and I get a phone call from Carly where she tells me, I'm not sure Hank's gonna be up for a life of seafood. So I asked her, what makes you say that? To which Carly replies with, Every day I take Hank for a walk and the sea offers up a new fish and I just don't think he's into it. So then I said, What kind of fish is it he's turning his nose up to? And Carly says, Every type. So I said to her, Do you mean to tell me that Poseidon is offering up all these different fish offerings every day when you're both on a dog walk? Yeah, she says. That's so random, I tell her. And then I said, You should film this. Turn it into a mini montage. So she did. And this is what she put together. Okay, now we've finished with Carly's creative genius. We're back at the house, it's much later in the day, it's dark outside now. And we're just putting the finishing touches on Hank's dinner. Check this out. Pampered dog much? Anyway, it is the moment of truth. We're gonna find out how he feels about eating fish. And uh, speaking of food, we were out all day stocking up on some much needed long life food, some tins and dry food and whatnot, just in case just in case we end up needing to self-isolate in case one of us becomes ill with the dreaded coronavirus. Um, but we thought it's probably not a bad idea to have a load of tins ready to at least sustain us for a couple of weeks. And if for any reason that doesn't have to happen, that'd be great. 
this will find a home on the boat and it will again sustain us probably at some point as we're sailing around. But now let's see what Hank thinks of dinner. What do you want? 